Hey, what's up, YouTube? What do you do? It's Rod D, Orange Ninja News. Yeah, man, I'm glad they finally got the chicken madness over with. That fried chicken, uh, salmon cat Popeyes is out. There is no more. Don't worry about trying to get a fried chicken salmon cat Popeyes. They don't have none right now. There's a wrap on that for a while until they bring it back. And this time when they bring it back, they said they're going to have it out permanently. Uh, they be part of the menu, permanently be part of the menu. So I guess they got to restock, uh, restock, regroup, and do that thing. But at least for right now, <laughs> there's no more of those, uh, no more Popeyes chicken sandwich. That's good, man. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's it, damn near embarrassing. I don't think nobody should like fried chicken that much, man. It's crazy, man. Yeah, uh, I've seen some videos that I, I really didn't have my people in a good light. I mean, it's, man. It was fighting over, fighting Popeyes and all types of stuff at Popeyes. Well, and now, yeah, it's just a, it's just a, a fried chicken sandwich, man. Yeah, what the hell's going on? Yeah, like you ate a some piece of fried chicken before, man. What, what, what is really going on? What's popping? Yeah. So, it's a nice cool day up here in Columbus, Ohio. I'm rolling through Columbus, Ohio right now. Ain't bad out at all. I like the days where you don't have to run your AC all hard. And you kind of chill. And, yeah, I'll be doing a show later on today. Still working on it, getting it right. And, so that'll be popped off a little bit later. Yeah, so I just want to talk about how I'm so glad the fried chicken madness is over so we can have a, a better light <laughs> hopefully some more positive stuff popped off I have all that negativity because that jump was looking crazy man yeah I see a video but I'm like man I know these cats ain't fighting over no damn chicken sandwich man that's what holy crap that's why I don't even eat fried chicken that's one stereotype the black man and the fried chicken, man. Yo, you're making it hard for these for us brothers out here that's like, yo, that's a stereotype, man. That's not true. Then I watch a damn video. Fool's fighting over some fried chicken. What the hell? Come on, man. You're setting us back, man. You're setting us back quite a ways. <laughs> what, what is going on, man? Yeah, shit. Yo. Uh, Hurricane Dorian is coming in. And Hurricane Dorian should be in by... Uh, should be in by Sunday, so everybody down south have to batten up the hatches, get ready for that. With uh, 116 mile per hour winds, and it's going to be a slow moving one that's going to set in place whenever whenever it hit Florida and southern Georgia. It's not going to be, they said, it's, it's not predicted to be uh, going to drift off fastly. It's going to be one of those ones that we hate one of those ones that just sit there for a while and that's when the most damage is done right there the ones that just sit in place for a while once they get there they sit there and do the most damn damage instead of the ones that just keep it moving man so that's not gonna be nice man i'll be i'll be dreading the uh, hurricane season man damn that's a that's some of the worst time because you know it's coming it's on the news that it's coming the meteorologists just say it's coming but ain't nothing you can do about it. If it's coming, it's coming, you know? The only thing you can do is leave town for a while till stuff blow over and then go back to town. But as far as anything else, yo, it's weather. Ain't nothing you can do about it. At least it's better than a tornado because with a hurricane, at least we got some heads up. We know what's coming. We know which areas it's going to hit. With a tornado, man, those are unpredictable. They come out of nowhere and then they can just like hit a few houses, devastate them, and then take off again. Uh, just straight up unpredictable. You don't even know when, where, or what it's going to hit. But I think that the hurricanes, they do the the, the most damage because they're way bigger than a tornado. Yeah. And that's the only way the tornado will be in competition with them is that there will be uh, a lot more tornadoes. A hurricane, you know, hurricane season, once a year, go ahead and start looking out for them. But with a tornado, that's just, like I say, unpredictable anytime. 
And yeah, but it's it's kind of it's kind of messed up. But yo, it's like yo, what you do? It's like if you if you're in an area that you know is going to get hit, at least you have a head start. And you already know what's going on with the hurricane. So yeah, hurricane Dorian is slowly walking his way in. I wish it was one of those ones that uh just pass over. Shit, I hate those ones that get there and just sit still for a while doing as much damage as they can. Those guys suck, man. So, everybody be looking out for Hurricane Dorian and be safe. I heard uh, Gary Owens interview the other day when he was on uh, the Burtcast podcast. He did a good interview. And he was talking about when he was in the Navy. I was like, yeah, I thought I heard something about him being in the Navy. Man, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah. I know that's a that's a busy dude. We all some busy men out here, so uh, he's working and stuff, so I don't know if I'll be able to interview him, but I definitely would like to, man. I'm going to try to hit his people up, try to get an interview with him. But, yeah, the reason why I think that would be likely because us, us Navy cats, man, we stick together, so see, I might be able to make pull that one off make that happen, man. So, yeah. Uh, he was a EMP from military police when he was in the Navy. That was pretty cool. See, but he already, back then, he already was uh, was uh, doing doing little comedy shows and stuff like that. So that cat ain't been in but a minute. He just did his little foe and got out because he already knew, hey, man, I don't be making too much money off this comedy thing, man. I have to kind of keep it moving. He had have time to, uh, to do more than that because this whole... Uh, comedy career was blowing up so he just kind of kept it moving from there but that's pretty cool yeah so yeah yo was in the navy y'all so pretty cool man yeah might have to um might even do a show where i just uh uh talk about a lot of a lot of entertainers and cats that was in the military there'd be a people that you'd be surprised to know and what branch and stuff like that and you'd be like oh man i never know that yeah, so I think I might do that coming up. Yeah, some of the drop yards I be at, I be seeing some weird stuff sometimes. This one got like a little spooky old house in back of it. Right by the, right where they put the fence up. I guess that was a property line. And um, yeah, it looks crazy. Right beyond the fence is nothing but wilderness. And like a spooky old house. Like, oh man, I'm going to put some pictures up on here. Chucky looks crazy, man. Yeah, I was at this, uh, at this drop yard last night. I came to pick up the trailer. So out of time, had to spend the night here. I didn't know I was sitting in front of a spooky old house. It looked like some joints that, uh, that the kids would go in on that uh, that show Scooby-Doo or something like that, man. <laughs> one of those spooky old houses. But, uh, well, like you see on, the, on one of these scary movies, uh, the kids go out into the cabin in the woods in the middle of nowhere to party and hang out. Yeah, yes, yeah, junk look creepy. Yeah, yo, and I'm not into politics. I don't talk no politics. I try to, uh, you know, that that's just one of the subjects I try to stay clear of. Too much controversy. People feel real strongly one way or the other. You ready to take your neck off over it? So I, I try to stay out of that. But damn, did you see the? Uh, uh, one of the Fox News guys, uh, he's an analyst for the market and stuff like that, and that's what he usually talk about. But man, he he slapped with an off on Trump, man. That dude was going ham on Trump, and that that threw me off because I'm like, yo, Fox News, I mean, that's his biggest supporter. That's his ally. I thought he, I thought he owned them. I mean, I don't get it. That dude went off. But I mean, I guess he did kind of kind of start it because he was. He started talking about Fox News and finding another news outlet, which um, there is not another news outlet for him. But uh, I heard a lot of talk of uh, that's going to lead to him starting his own news network, which actually he already had a uh, had that in plans. That was supposed to back before everybody uh, thought he had a chance at winning. He was talking about um, making his own news channel. So if he wasn't if he didn't win, he would already had his own little little news network or little TV channel or whatever he was uh he's working on. But yeah, that's in the pipeline. That's coming down the line. I mean, after he's out at the office, he's still gonna have his own channel. That's what, at least that's what he's uh 
working on, like I say. And that could be part of it right there. Maybe he's like uh, trying to get everybody ready for his little network or his little news channel. And so he'd say something like that and everybody would be like, as soon as his joints come out, start going to that instead of the, the other networks. So it might be something along that type of line. But yeah, it was just surprising to see the whole thing play out like that. I was like, eh, you know, you can say something about Fox, but ain't nobody going to say nothing back because, you know, they in his pocket. And then, and that one dude came on and just went ham on him. I was like, whoa, dude, it's just hard in the mug. <laughs> it's just going off. I was like, yo, what's going on now? I don't know. I was like, yo, I don't know what's up or down anymore. What just happened here? What am I watching? Yo, this is crazy. So, yeah, man, that was a crazy event. Yeah, I'm talking politics, but I had to, had to say something on that one. I don't think I'm getting political on it. I'm just saying what happened. That was some weird stuff that I thought I wouldn't see. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> what really goes on? Yeah, so I'm going to get back in this truck, get down this road a bit. Then afterwards, I'll be working on tonight's show, Have It Booming. You know, us here at Orange Ninja News, we broadcast daily. That's what's up. All right, well, until then, y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. Peace. Hey.